There's a name for this feeling. They just haven't named it yet. There's a name for this feeling. They just haven't named it yet. When I look back on this time, I'll see myself as being out of control. When I look back on this time, I'll see myself as being completely out of control. Her name was Claire. She lived at the back of Wills and Doll Baby in Darlinghurst, just off Crown Street. Went down there one night. Must have been 92. I know, because she had never mind on. She later gave me the tape and she said she might move to Newcastle. And I said, cool, because I might move to Melbourne. Quite literally going our separate ways after one night. At least I got never mind out of it. And I said to her, Claire, do you know what made me want to move to Melbourne? Angie Hart made me want to move to Melbourne. Yeah, and fall in love and drink coffee and sit in cafes and drink beer and have a genuine use for the many beanies that I've collected over the years. And love, 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 love. Well, you get the picture. With fairy-headed girls who wear matte lipstick lips or no lipstick at all, fuck it. Because that's even better. And we would walk or maybe run. Or maybe we'd skip through frost lens parks and someone would capture the whole thing on a Super 8 camera. And there'd be a dog involved with a tennis ball in its mouth. And at some stage, we would play on swings. There'd be a bag of hot chips in there somewhere. Maybe an ice cream. But that might have been too cold because it would have always been cold. I would have gone to AFL matches. I would have seen bands and I would have taken up smoking. And I would have felt that this was really home. And I think of my real home back in Sydney and be glad that I had both. But be happy that in these years I'd made the move and I'd started again. And everything would unfurl and I'd wash my clothes in laundromats. Yeah, and I'd speak to men and women with lines like my father's in their faces. And always present. Always present would be the earth colour wearing girls. Their musically inclined friends. And there would have been guitars in there. And there would have been VB involved. And maybe I would have moved on to Melbourne Bitter. Fuck it. And never drank anything else. Yeah. I would have gotten older. I would have got a heaps older. And I'd become a regular at the Fitzroy Pool. And I'd emphatically know the tram system, Claire, and the right turn traffic rule. And I'd have scaled every pub and found every decent restaurant. Yeah. And become an activist in some area. A prominent spoken word performer. Done a benefit gig with Paul Kelly, Mick Thomas, Archie Roach, Chris Wilson. And somewhere along the line, Somewhere on the line, Angie Hart may have been involved. Angie Hart from the band Frente may have been involved. Somewhere I may have just accidentally bumped into her. And Angie would give me a version of a knowing nod and I'd give her one back and maybe I'd suggest a coffee. And Brunswick Street would be all over me and I'd be all over it, like the cheapest suit I could buy in an op shop. Angie would say, hey man, hey, geez, I like your suit. And I'd almost but thankfully not ask her the rhetorical question of Angie. Hey Angie, you know what made me want to move to Melbourne? Hey Angie, do you know what made me want to move to Melbourne? Yeah. I wouldn't ask it, she wouldn't answer. How can you say something like that to someone you've never even met before? But that's the point of all this. 
I didn't actually move to Melbourne. And I've heard she's married an American guy now anyway. Every idea passes, every thought has an end. Regardless, however, but Angie Hart made me want to move to Melbourne. Yeah. Angie Hart made me want to move to Melbourne. She did. Like nothing else, I could have got in the car and just gone. Got in the car and just gone. Yeah. Got in the car and just gone. Because there's a name for this feeling. There's a name for this feeling. And a name for it. They just haven't named it yet. There's a name for this feeling, but they just haven't named it yet. Because when I look back on this time, I see myself as being out of control. When I look back on this time, Claire, 91, future. I see myself as being completely out of control. When I look back on this time, I'll see myself as being out of control. When I look back on this time, I'll see myself as being completely out of control.